The Aga Khan Museum, when it opens, becomes North America's first museum of Islamic art. And so it, it opens up a new chapter in, in museums in this continent. Islamic art is something that you do find in other museums. And the Met has a good collection, LACMA has a good collection, you find collections in the Chicago Art Institute. But as a whole, we don't find institutions that are actually solely devoted to this subject matter. And that's what this museum introduces. Uh, for the first time you have Islamic art in a museum. The works of art that you find in the Aga Khan Museum really do span all of the history of art in the Islamic world. So you have everything from 1400 years ago straight up to the present day. Now, I think for most people who come to this museum, the art that they see here is, some, is material that they've probably never seen in a museum before. The reason for this is that very few museums in North America have collections of Islamic art. We are, in many ways, the standard bearer. We're going to lead the way and showcase Islamic art, not only through the artwork, but also through performances, music, dance, film, performance, poetry, and literature. The opening date is the 18th of September. Probably most important of all, we have our programs lined up for the next four months. And so we have performances, lectures, we have our exhibitions. We're going to have a mixture of historic art, contemporary art, music, song, dance. There's a lot of reasons, if you're interested in the arts, to come to this museum. But I think a lot of people, I hope, will come to this museum simply because they're curious to learn about a project of this sort. The building of a new building is not something that happens every day in a city. And this museum, when it opens, establishes a new cultural attraction to the city. And again, I hope people come to it because they feel that it's part of the cultural landscape of the town. Mm -hmm.